Thanks for joining me for another video. This one is the in-depth for the pitch purple. We're going to start out with the house shot footage from the review while we cover the details. Rev control solid urethane cover. It's the same base formula as the pitch black cover, but with additives to give it a more resin-like shape. The core is the capacitor core at 257 RG and an 022 differential in 15 pounds. That's shared by both the purple and the black. It's a high RG, low differential core, which is going to help get length and keep the flare rings tight. That's part of what makes traditional urethane so smooth down lane. Usually they have lower differential cores, so they continue to roll over the same oil tracks on the ball all the way down the lane. This helps keep them smooth on the back end. Now it also can create a lot of carry down, which is generally why they aren't good for house patterns. There's already a lot of oil in the middle that could carry down to begin with, and urethane is just going to make that worse. You can actually see that here after just a few shots. Now what makes them bad for house shots makes them great for tougher shots. Tougher shots are flatter, so you don't have near as much room left to right. Urethane starts up early, then controls the break point better than anything else out there. Moving to the 2019 USBC Open Championships doubles and singles pattern. After the first couple shots missed the spot, I went ahead and took it to a thousand. It looked a little shiny or sheeny maybe out of the box, and once I took a pad to it, it came to life. I threw a few more shots, and it didn't quite seem like it was getting there, but the pins were falling, and as I continued to trust it, the pins continued to fall to the point where I just got on autopilot. It was effortless to keep rolling it nice and easy, I didn't have to force anything, I didn't feel like I had to help it down the lane or help it finish, it gave me a comfortable amount of room both left to right and front to back. Now, I'm not sure I could have gotten any deeper without a significant amount of friction showing up, but I'm not sure why I'd have needed to. Sometimes we as bowlers can make things more complicated than they need to be, and this was delightfully uncomplicated. I know that this is an in-depth, but there's really no reason to go any deeper. This ball keeps it remarkably simple. That's the whole point. It's not as early as the pitch black, it creates more shape, and if you're not a urethane fan or just aren't quite comfortable with it, the pitch purple could bridge the gap. I feel like this could be a perfect option on both Nationals conditions to not just keep you in the pocket and out of trouble, but to shoot some big scores with. Be sure to check out my Pitch Purple versus Pitch Black comparison where we'll take a dedicated look at the differences and similarities, but here's a few shots with the black to give you an idea. The purple is definitely longer with a stronger move on the back end, that's no surprise, while the black still digs in early and eases right in. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Oh. <laughs>